Hi everyone, um, I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories and uh, the last class I taught will tell you that I absolutely love reading this story. Um, I bought it online this week second hand and it actually came signed by the author so winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, the book I'm going to read today is Don't Dip Your Chips in Your Drink Kate. Now, when it comes to the rules that everyone that they set out in the book, I'd love it if you could clap along because it's like a little bit of a rap. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing today. <laughs> so, Don't Dip Your Chips in Your Drink Kate by Carol Hart. Don't dip your chips in your drink Kate. Eat your cabbage before it goes cold. Don't wipe your nose on your sleeve, Kate. Why can't you do as you're told? Don't take another potato. Just eat what you've got on your plate. Chew your meat, use your fork, sit still and don't talk. Hurry up or we're going to be late. Does your mum tell you off the table? Well, mine does it day after day. She says I'm rude when I mix up my food, but it tastes so much better that way. When I tell Fred jokes about bogies, mum shouts, go upstairs straight away. Don't you dare come back to the table till you've got something proper to say. Mum seems very cross. I flop on my bed, feeling grumpy. Why is my mum being so mean? So I get out some paper, a pen and some stamps and I write a quick letter to the Queen. Your Majesty, I mean, look at that lovely handwriting, boys and girls. I hope you're practising at home, so it's better than that. Your Majesty, could you advise me about eating and being polite? My mum says I'll never get on in this life if I can't get my manners just right. Please help me, I'm getting quite desperate. I really don't know what to do. Perhaps I can visit your palace one day and learn to be posh, just like you. Love, Kate. A footman arrives the next morning with the fanciest letter I've seen. And it says to Miss Kate at P. Green. Look how lovely and fancy he is. <clears throat> It has come to what the, our royal attention that you'd like to have tea with the Queen. Her Majesty would be delighted. She loves having children to tea. Dress up smart. Don't be late. Wait by your front gate. Next Thursday at quarter past three. The Queen. You can't possibly go, says my mother. You'd give Her Royal Highness a fright. But Fred says, it's fine, we've got plenty of time. Learn these rules and you'll be all right. Now remember to clap along. <clears throat> no slurping, no slouching, no grabbing, no burping. Don't talk with a mouthful of food. Don't argue, don't shout, don't throw things about. Don't eat with your fingers, it's rude. No yawning, no whining, no spitting, no mourning. Don't gobble down handfuls of peas. Stay at the table till told to get down and always say thank you and please. That's lots of rules. Next Thursday arrives all too quickly as a car whisks me off at top speed. I sink into the seat and try to repeat all the rules that Fred and I have agreed. What were they? No chewing, no drinking, no talking, no thinking. They cannot be right, I'm sure. Eat quickly, eat slowly, throw jam roly-poly all over the dining room floor. But look, we've arrived at the palace. The queen pulls me quickly inside. Then she hurries me down to the kitchen and flings the fridge door open wide. Good ee, cries the queen. This looks lovely. And she grabs for a tall wobbly jelly. She gobbles it down, wipes her hands on her gown, then burps and starts rubbing her belly. Mm, that's not very good manners. She piles all the food on the table. Pudding first, says the queen with a grin. 
Why don't you start with that big treacle tart? Come on now, stuff it all in. Are you sure that's good manners? I stutter. I keep thinking there's something we've missed. Oh, yes, says the Queen. I'll just check the royal rules. And she pulls out a very long list. Clap the beat, boys and girls. No slurping, no slouching, no grabbing, no burping. Don't talk with a mouthful of food. Don't argue, don't shout, don't throw things about. Don't eat with your fingers, it's rude. No yawning, no whining, no spitting, no mourning. Don't gobble down handfuls of peas. Stay at the table till told to get down and always say thank you and please. Yes, these are the rules we should stick to. But manners are dull, don't you think? Then she loads up her spoon with several dry prunes and fires them into my drink. Before I know what I'm doing, I stick my fork into a bun and launch it towards her royal highness. Forget manners, she cries. Let's have fun. We gobble down handfuls of cherries and spit out the stones far and wide. Then we bite into three dozen doughnuts and lick out the gem from inside. We scoff till our tummies are bursting, then flop on the sofa to rest. The Queen says, That dinner was out of this world, Kate. You're simply the best. Ooh, they're burping there, look. Burp, burp. So if your family's strict about manners, even though they can see you're not keen, Put up a fight and show them who's right and send them for tea with the Queen. The end. Now, I hope, boys and girls, that you do know your manners and maybe you could write a list for me because I think Mr Hill needs to read this book because he definitely, definitely needs to know some of these rules. Take care. Bye.